what's the could be a strategy could be a tool could be really being comfortable and confident in who you are and going and not trying to please everyone yeah. right because it's how you form real brand advocates right it's by really knowing who you connect with and and then in terms of partnerships as well, the best partnerships are the ones where, yes, there has to be the audience factor. It has to stack up. Commercially, it has to work. But the ones that will show longevity and will deliver results the quickest and be the most enjoyable ones are where you can really open and honest about who you are, how you operate, how you treat customers. Because then the people that operate in the same way will really resonate with you. I think it will just feel that that little bit smoother. So being really, there's the fluffy side of it being more adorable, but there is absolutely the commercial benefit of there being a really strong match. And so that confidence to be unapologetically you, I think is something that we're seeing more and more of, thankfully. Um, and long may it continue. It certainly helps separate... Um, people who I align with from people who I don't. When I see people, like, I, I always run the litmus test of, like, if I was to reach out to someone to start a conversation, how easy is it for me to align with them to have a conversation? And there are usually big warning bells for me if I look at someone's profile and I try and have a conversation or start a conversation and I just have nowhere to go, like, no idea how to start there. You know, if it, if you look at it from a LinkedIn perspective, you know, uh, their about section literally tells you their job role. Their title tells you their job role. Their previous experiences tell you how they got there. And there's all they've ever done is share content from other people, repost things, if they've even posted yeah. on LinkedIn. And to try and have a genuine conversation with somebody like that it just doesn't, doesn't board well. The more people who can be... I think it makes it easier for humans to do what humans do best. By, by being active on there and just kind of getting out your shell a bit. Give people some reason to genuinely reach out to you if they're clever enough to do it or they're organic or transparent enough to do it. And I think that's the difference. Um, and, it, you know, there's enough on my profile to put off. Like, if somebody approaches me with, with a chat GPT, AI sales bot is my pet here. Like, there's no reason for them to need to do that because there's so much on there where you can create an instant connection with me if you really want to but you don't because you're too busy trying to hit volume. Yeah, and I think it speaks to our, as humans, the tribal in our nature, right? We, and part of that is wanting to connect and connect. We connect by kind of finding shared values and shared common interests and common ground. Um, and so to be able to do that, you need to, you need to be open about, you need to be about, open about what those things are in the first place. I think that, connected nature of being is actually the natural way and it's the environment that has pushed pushed us down the more individualistic route and i'm not anti-capitalism or anything like that but there is this more individualistic nature that our environment pushes us down typically i believe um, and it's not the natural way to be 